This one about the fossils of the arm of a sloth is about subject-verb agreement. The subject of the sentence, fossils, is plural. And notice how many of the verbs are singular rather than plural. So singular verbs here don't agree with the subject of the sentence. So right away, B, C, and E are out. That leaves us with A and D. So D, of course, has a proper plural verb. And then made, it's just a straight past tense. It's unclear. It's the same in singular and plural. So that works also. Now, a funny thing about the pronoun it. Any pronoun's antecedent must be what I'd call a freestanding noun. It can't be a noun that is part of a prepositional phrase. Well, in this particular sentence, the only noun that is not part of a prepositional phrase is fossils, which is plural. And then arm and sloth are both objects of prepositional phrases. And so really it means the word it has no clear antecedent. And so this is problematic for, in terms of the GMAT. Whereas what D does, it just uses the word sloth, making the sloth the oldest, blah, blah, blah. So in other words, in order to identify the noun clearly, you need to name it again. A second problem with A is it presents these two phrases, participial phrases, found in Puerto Rico, dated at 34 years, more or less in parallel. Now, the, the comma is a little problematic if we're going to have parallel structure. And then the main verb is back here, made it. And something is a little funny about that because... The fact that it was found in Puerto Rico in 1991, that is a bit of a detail. In other words, if it were, had been found five years earlier, five years later, it would have really made no difference to the sentence. The fact that it was dated at 34 year, million years old, that is crucial. That's actually what the sentence is about, that this is really the oldest fossil they've ever found there. And so it, there's something illogical about making parallel structure between something that's a complete detail and something that ought to be the main focus of the sentence. So that is why A is problematic. Meanwhile, D has this found as a separate participial phrase. Have been dated is in fact the main subject of the sentence. Very clear. It repeats the word sloth for clarity rather than using an unclear pronoun. In every way, D is a strong answer. It is by far the best answer here.